leader, Jesse Tosina. Today, we will follow the life cycle of electronics as part of our new Where Does It Go series, where we will be explaining what happens to the items you drop off here at the recycling center. Some of the most common electronic items we receive are TVs, computers, laptops, printers, and all kinds of wires. These items are taken to a processing plant where their recycling begins. Once they enter the facility, they are manually processed and separated into clean commodity streams to be reused into new products. What that means is the items needed to create electronics, mainly plastics, metals, and glass, are separated so they can be recycled. Here are some examples of how they recycle common products found in the stream. Televisions that are brought to the facility are disassembled. All of the plastic coverings, along with the plastics from any other products brought to the facility, are put into a baler, which breaks down the products and squishes them together into squares that can be shipped to a plastic recycling plant to be reused. The motherboards, which contain small amounts of valuable metal, are either disassembled at the plant for parts or shipped to another facility that shreds the motherboards and actually uses magnets and water to separate the plastics and metals that they contain. Wires of all shapes and sizes that come to the plant are either separated, baled, and sold to another facility that will recycle them, or they are cut open here at the plant to remove the metals inside. Some of the metals commonly found in wires are copper, steel, and aluminum. All of these metals have a certain market value and can be sold for reuse. Before disassembling valuable products such as computers and laptops, highly skilled technicians evaluate the electronics and remove anything that can be reused. For example, if someone throws out a laptop with a broken screen, the technicians will pull the laptop, fix the screen, and resell it either online or here at the on-site storefront. Before being sold, all the data is wiped from the device, or the data containing materials such as hard drives are put through this data shredding machine. Computers and laptops that are not reusable have several components that can be recycled. First, they are disassembled and separated by their plastic coverings, motherboards, processors, and hard drives. The plastics go to the baler, along with the plastics from TVs and all other products, and are sent to a separate facility to be recycled. The motherboards and processors are stripped for their metal parts that they contain and sold, or they're sold whole to be shredded, just as with TVs. These parts all have a market value that the processing plant can then sell to a buyer. So next time you're upgrading your TV or throwing out some old wires, remember to bring them down to the Middle Recycling Center located at 52 Canes Lane and give them a second life. We'll see you soon.